Hey everybody, welcome back to the Infinite Regression. Yes, the place where time and space are meaningless. And that's why the videos are so long. And so spacious. Yes, definitely the first time I've said that. Anyway, let's move you over to here. Indeed. Uh, and let's click play. Uh, actually, let's go show you the row. This is the row. We are here. Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Uh, which is an interesting combination of rhythm and RPG. Yes. Play it. This I command. Okay. Ha ha. They told me I was too young. Yes, they, they did. They were like, you're too young. I told them to drop dead. Oh my god, it's doing the thing again. Like, please, for the love of god, don't. I don't know how I survived that fall. Something strange must have happened. It keeps blacking out on the screen when I do things. My pulse is beating like a drum, but my blood is running cold. I'm not sure what's going on, but I came here with a question. And I'm gonna find the answer if it kills me. Yeah. Wait, mode. Wait. Oh, hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. My controller is not set up properly. That is not how you... It's using my... Uh... Wait, reassign controls, yes, for the love of God. Okay. Uh, but yeah. No, 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 no. Up, I want to use up. Uh. Uh, I, I want to use down for down. Okay. I want to use... Wait. Hold up. Dow. Ah! How do I choose... Oh, no. I can't. I don't know what chooses things anymore. Oh, God. Ah. Uh, Wait, how do I choose options? Come on, man. What are my options? <laughs> what button did you re reassign them to? This is fun, watching me fumble with... Okay, so that's clearly... God. Okay. Okay, there we go. Right. We are going to push right, left. We are going to push left. Up alternate is, yeah. Okay. Um, tell me when you see the hot bar. Uh, I'll be. Those are maybe they. Maybe the controls were supposed to be what they were. Look down here. It, once you see the hell, oh. you will not it's believe done. it's alive. Oh. It's, it's done. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, we'll just we'll just play it like this. Okay, as you can see, like Oh, 
So, like, you gotta keep to the beat. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> shop guy, but I don't have any coins. That's some fantastic singing, though, bro. Enjoyed that. So when you attack things, you have to do it to the beat. Oh God, and I'm down to one heart. You could destroy a lot of things but certainly not all the things, and there are secrets to be found and whatnot, but like... Oh God, I died. Okay, here we go. And I think every playthrough is different. I think it goes roguelike on you. Yeah. But everything you do must be done to the beat. <laughs> Just wanted to see the bomb. Oh god. Exit stairs unlocked. Woo! Oh god. Monkey, get off of me! Ah, oh, dang it. No barrel? Jeez. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go find a golden key. All right. Yeah, this one this is one that's hard to talk while you're playing it because you do have to keep to the Oh no. Ah, I hate it when the tempo changes. Broadsword. Thank God for broadsword. Oh, hey, bomb. Yeah, eventually you get pretty keyed in on what the, uh, oh yeah, give me that. Take that key. Oh God.
What? <laughs> yeah, I did not did not do uh oh visit lobby spend diamonds. Hello. Oh, okay, sweet. Okay, and I don't know if that's a permanent uh, upgrade or what, but sword but my my hit points are inexcusable Oh no, I was trying to do it off the beat, and as this game has showed, you can't do it off the beat. Alright, let's go spend coins. We cannot do one red chest per run, okay. Permanent upgrades, this is a permanent upgrade. Let's find out what this new is. Oh, hello. These items show up in chests, alright. All right, interesting. All right, anyway, clearly there's a lot to unlock and whatnot. Character select, I don't think I've... Yeah, I haven't... Oh, normal gameplay. Continue. Yes, why not? Anyway, so there are character unlockables. There are item unlockables. There's a lot to do. And I, like, people wonder why I don't play more rhythm games it's because I am bad at them there's like no other reason like watch me be bad at this certainly you have seen people be better at this But it's fun. Also, like, one of, something that most people know by now is that this game is such a hit, like, it's an indie sensation to the point where Nintendo got involved and they were like, you need to make us a version of this game. Uh, well, I don't know who made it. Like, I don't know how exactly that came about, but, like... There is a Cadence of Hyrule for the Switch, which is essentially this game, but with, oh god, Minotaur. Oh, I got wrecked by that Minotaur. Oh god. Yeah, I gotta return to that lobby and see if there's anything I can spend. Nope. I gotta collect more diamonds is what I need to do. Long attack throw will restore two health. Yeah. Why would I not... Wait. Why would I not choose that always? Okay, we'll play it one more time and then I gotta put a review on this.
Yeah, health restorative. Really use some cheese now. Oh, I don't have 20. Go back over here. Oh, bad luck. That was bogus. Diamond. Are those the exit stairs? Oh, the, oh. Oh, is this a Muse song? They won't be friend us. Oh. <laughs> we will be victorious. Anyway. All right. Let's return to that there lobby because we've got things to do. Let's see. We I think I think we all know we need that extra heart more than we need a chest. Anyway, regardless, uh fun, fun, good times, lots of the funs. All zones modes. Oh, hello. Anyway. Yeah, degree of difficulty on this one is, uh, you know, not insubstantial. It is doable, especially when you don't have the burden of talking while doing it. But yeah, let's uh, let's definitely, definitely uh, leave the game and uh, let's go back to the infinite regression. Why not? Why not? Anyway, Crypt of the Necrodancer. It is a very unique dungeon crawler, uh, if ever there was one. And uh, that is hard to come by these days when there are so many dungeon crawlers. I mean, the indie game world and the fact that uh, pixel games are very much a thing now. There are like premium pixel games. Um, it is difficult to stand out and certainly, certainly, Crypt of the Necrodancer, you haven't played anything quite like it. You, you just haven't, unless you've played, of course, Cadence of Hyrule, in which case you played something very much like it. But let us not dwell. There is much more to be told. Anyway, uh, let's put a pause on this, and we will uh, put a score on it uh, when we come back. All right, wait a sec. Okay, and I'm back. That didn't take very long because I, I knew already what I thought of it. Um, so, Crypt of the Necrodancer. Not an easy game for me. Okay, not an easy game for me. Not an easy game for me because I don't really do rhythm games. Like in uh, GTA San Andreas when you have to do the car dancing one. 
And then when you have to do the dance dance one so that you can steal the van from the DJ, which is like just a real jerk move there. Anyway, uh, I fail those missions constantly. The RC missions, like done, easy, no problem. Like even the uh, the one where you have to beat Berkeley, the multi-stage RC battle, like not really that big of a problem for me, but... Uh, the dancey ones, the rhythm ones. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I am white. <laughs> and so, like, <laughs> rhythm games, not my fort, as uh, Penn Jillette would say. Or not my forte, as humans would say. Anyway, so, yeah. E even so, I still enjoy it. I love the idea of the game. It is very unique, very interesting. And I do love the fact that they made a, uh, a version of it for the Switch... Uh, featuring Legend of Zelda um, enemies and characters and tile sets and whatnot. Anyway, so here's my final score. Uh, final score for Crypt of the Necro Dancer is an eight out of what? Why are these eights upside down? That's weird. I've never seen a font that didn't know which was the right way up for an eight. That's okay. That is not going to stop bothering me. Who? Yes. Oh, her. Look at this. Showing my graphic designer wife who, yeah. Anyway, K. Sword of Fargle is a game that you uh, Commodore people remember from the Commodore, but I don't remember from the Commodore because we were an Atari family. Thank you very much. And so uh, I never played it on the Commodore, nor will I ever. Uh, but they made a new version of it for, um, like, it, it's in app stores and whatnot. And it's this, uh, you know, randomly generated uh, dungeon crawler type game. Um, and just the vibe of it, like the vibe of Crypt of the Necrodancer reminds me of this game, but with rhythm elements. Um yeah, sort of Fargle, you know, pretty difficult game, a lot of grindiness to it, um, but really fun. Like, when I beat it for the first time, I was elated, Aww. like, because you have to, like, go down to the very yeah. deep depths of the dungeon, and then, like, you have to retrieve this sword, which you cannot use as a weapon, by the way. That's That's the thing, is that, like... The first time I grabbed the sword, I'm like, sweet, finally these enemies are going to be easier to deal with. Nope. If anything, they get harder because they're coming after you. And there are these guys who will steal the sword and then randomly go to a different level. And there are like a butt ton of levels. A ton of levels on this dungeon. And they'll just be randomly... And, you know, there are fake walls and... Uh, there are exits and entrances that you can only get to by going through a different staircase on a different level. Like, it's a whole complicated thing. And so, like, if those guys steal the sword, like, you are going to have a devil of a time finding them. Like, the game can really go on for a long time. And the replayability is very high. So, yes, my review of Sword of Fargal. <laughs> Just kidding. This is my review of Crypt of Necrodancer. Um which is a, a really fun game, and it reminds me of this, a game that is a bona fide classic. So, 8 out of 8, like, 100%, great job, nicely done. Way to bring something new to an otherwise um, somewhat stale genre, if we're being perfectly honest. Anyway, nice work, Crypt of the Necrodancer, and all of your developers, nicely done. Yeah, anyway... So, yeah, thanks for watching this one. We will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.